Visitors ran for safety at Yellowstone National Park after a hydrothermal explosion sent rock and steam spewing into the air north of the Old Faithful Geyser on July 23, park officials said. There were no injuries, and the extent of the damage from the blast, which occurred in Biscuit Basin. The Biscuit Basin parking lot and boardwalks are now temporarily closed for visitor safety. National Park Service noted that geologists are investigating the event. Hydrothermal explosions occur when water suddenly flashes to steam underground, and they are relatively common in Yellowstone. It's sort of an underappreciated hazard in the Yellowstone region, said Michael Poland, scientist in charge with the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. People focus on the volcanism there, but there's no sign of any volcanic activity involved in this, he said. It was simply a geyser system, a hydrothermal system, that experienced changes underground that caused a lot of water to flush the heat. Photos posted by Yellowstone National Park show the nearby boardwalk covered in dirt, rocks and debris. The boardwalk and a parking lot were closed for the time being because of safety concerns, the park service said. The explosion has nothing to do with volcanic activity, it noted. Hydrothermal explosions are somewhat common in the area, occurring when underground water suddenly turns to steam. Similar eruptions occurred at Biscuit Basin in 1959, 1991, and 2009. She ran to the other side. Holy sh Oh, Baba. Baba, not mine. It's covering the sun. Oh, my God, this is that. Dude, <laughs> oh my god. Be careful. Yeah, that's cool. Get a close up. Yeah, that's